taupiri te maunga, ko wai kato te awa, ko tūranga wawa e te marae, ko tāma ko Ormsby tōku ingoa. I'm 24 years old and I'm an engineer. Why haven't I been fired yet? <laughs> That's the question. So I'm at the Auckland Council and I'm part of the graduate programme. They put out um, notice for applications. Pretty much I looked at it, saw it as an uh, awesome opportunity. Yeah, I applied, put my name in, um, as well as 400 other people. And yeah, they picked me and here I am. I grew up in a sunny little town full of rain and clouds uh, called Naruawahia under misty mountains of the Hakrimata and yeah, we have the best muscle footers in New Zealand. <laughs> the thing that kind of sparks joy with me for engineering is like how could I have my own water, power, internet, housing that's warm, all those things and then how can I roll that out to other marae, hapu, iwi and then you know the wider of Aotearoa and just live hakuna matara. The hardest part was being in Auckland, I didn't like Auckland. I had to move away from my family, but more importantly I had to move away from my, um, my partner. So yeah, I was a bit of a down buzz at the start, I had to just work. In my first couple of years I didn't really want to do anything else, so I wanted to go home. I would just be in Auckland, work hard, then cruise home, come back work hard and that really, I suppose, paid off. Put me in that position where all I could do was work. When I go home and my whanau go, you know, they're real happy. They go, oh, how's work, my nan? They found out they're mahita, you know. It kind of just makes me a little bit happy. Engineer is another word for problem solver, and there are heaps of problems. So the problems that I look at in the Auckland Council graduate program are related to flooding and stormwater. So when it rains, where does it go? And it's not until somebody's property gets flooded that people start to think, oh, what's happening there? Who's responsible? So pretty much what we have here are a few planter boxes and you've got lavender, different herbs, different kai, but they serve a function for stormwater. So when it rains, the water hits the plants and then it's filtered through and then it filters out all the contaminants and stuff like that. So yeah, that's just another way to um, soft solution to manage how the rain hits the ground and goes out to the sea. So it looks after our ocean. When did you decide that you're going to take that career path? I didn't really make a decision, it was like a default. I had like a couple decisions to make after high school and then I thought, oh, engineering seems like the hardest one. And if I, you know, don't really like that, then I can try the other ones out. So, so yeah, I just went from there, I liked it. I enjoyed the problem solving side and then just kind of been me since. This is my desk over here. It's where I keep all my things, pens and other important things. You seem like hearty Māori, um, how important is your culture to you? Oh, very important, the last box you know, very important. It's who you are and you're kind of just standing on a stranded island if you don't really know your, your culture or your identity or, or who came before you, so it kind of gives you a bit of foundation to, to kind of work up from. That's Glenn over there, hey Glenn. My first drink is positivity. Uh, and that's one thing I really like bringing to the team. Um, you know, just a good buzz. Uh, one of my other strengths is learner, so I really like taking on new things. And when I go to new teams, you know, I just love learning and kind of contributing as much as I can. There's some sort of another drain over there. I think engineering, I'm all good with um, problem solving, technical side, and, and mathematics. So anything around that, I'm keen to jump on board and and push it. My, my girlfriend's gonna crack up, eh? My fiance, I should say. Kia ora we hope Tamoko's persistence has inspired you. Now here's some awesome tips that we took away from his career journey so far. I had like a couple decisions to make after high school and then I thought, oh, Engineering seems like the hardest one. Tamoko was drawn to study engineering and he was up for the challenge. And once he started, he definitely knew it was for him. 
If you're drawn to an option, whether it's in study, training or work, give it a go. Something that you're keen on is always less likely to feel like hard work. Tamoko took a pun and applied for a graduate program at the council. Out of hundreds of applicants, the man landed one of four positions. They put out uh, notice for applications. Pretty much, I locked it up, sort of, uh, awesome opportunity. Whether it's small or big opportunities you spot or come your way, say yes and take a pun. It could land you on an exciting pathway. My first strength is positivity. Uh, and that's one thing I really like bringing to the team. Um, you know, just a good buzz. Uh, one of my other strengths is learner, so I really like taking on new things. And when I go to new teams, you know, I just love learning and kind of contributing as much as I can. Tamoko's got it sussed. He knows that his strengths of a positive attitude, learning and working well in a team are exactly what employers are looking for. If you're going for an interview, show you are developing these skills by talking about your interests, your goals and your achievements. Whether they're from sporting, performing, academic or a home front, employers will be impressed. Thank you so much Tamoko for sharing your extraordinary story with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out more extraordinary Kiwi stories.